Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyson Grove, and today we're going to show you a fashionable way to hide your electrical panels. Let's get into it. All right, here's the situation. Our client has two electrical panels that just happen to be right in the middle of their kitchen. And as you can see, they're kind of unsightly and one of them is pretty large. They don't really like the idea of hanging a picture over them because one, the picture would be very large. Two, they don't want to go through the hassle of having to take it down if they ever have to access the panels. So we're going to come up with a solution that matches the rest of the kitchen and that will give them easy access to their electrical panels. The current cabinets of the kitchen are made out of pine, so that's what I'll be using for this project. I'll be using a combination of 1x3s and 1x2s for all the frames of the door and the door casing. To assemble the door casing, I'll be using rabbit joints. Anytime you're gluing up end grain, you want to use plenty of glue because the end grain is really absorbent. I'm going to be using corner brackets in all the corners. This will add strength, it'll keep it square, and it'll also give me some brackets to screw the casing to the wall. To attach the brackets, I'm going to first pre-drill all the holes, and to do that, I'm going to use a self-centering bit. That has a little retractable sleeve to keep the bit in the center of each hole. To assemble the door frames, I am using butt joints with pocket holes, but I'm also going to add a center brace with a half lap joint. I know this isn't the best way to make a cross cut, but I broke my miter gauge, so as you can see, it's a very small cut and I'll be standing off to the side, so I'll be safely out of the way of any kickback. For the door faces, I'm using simple pine tongue and groove beadboard that I picked up at the local hardware store. To attach the doors to the casing, I'm going to be using a sliding closet door track. That way I can conceal it behind some trim. To conceal the track, I use some leftover beadboard. Once everything was assembled, we stained it and added a couple coats of polyurethane. I used a very professional technique to be able to hold the casing in place as I attached it to the wall. Is that chunky vegetable? We made sure to get handles that match the ones that were already on all the cabinets in the kitchen.
Alright, our electrical panel cover project is finished and I'm really happy with the way that it came out. The stain matches the rest of the kitchen spot on, so it mixes in well with everything and matches the aesthetics that she has going on in the kitchen. It uh, works great, it serves its purpose. The only thing that I noticed, the client requested that we make it as close to the wall as possible, but in doing so, we made it so close that this back door actually catches one of the screws for the cover of the electrical panel. It's not really a big deal, you just have to pull the door out a little bit and it slides right past that screw, no problem. But in hindsight, I could have made this box maybe a quarter inch deeper and it would have missed that screw. But other than that, it works great, it serves its purpose, and we're really happy with it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. If you want to see all the other projects we're working on, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we would love to hear in the comments below what you thought of this project. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.